Welcome to Gas and Watts. Today, I'm going to show you how I changed my coilovers and talk about the difference between the BC Racing DR and DS coilovers and what I thought from my experience so far. By the end of this video, you too will be able to do it at home by yourself. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Beautiful. So here's my old coilovers. These are the BR series and the new ones, which are the DS series. We're just going to compare the two of them to see what's the difference. The first thing is, of course, they're both monotube designs. The DS has the digressive uh, dampening system, and this one has a linear dampening system. So DS will obviously be a lot better for even day-to-day -day driving slow speeds. As to this, at slow speeds, you're not going to feel any dampening at all. And with the digressive, it is more ideal for track use, autocross, and stuff like that compared to this. This is mainly just for budget. They're all right. The right quality is all right, but this should be a lot better. This is the step lower than their ER series, which you can individually set the dampening and rebound. And also you can tell the thread body is black and this one's silver. The old one are the extreme lows, and this is just the standard. I decided to do that because the standard does have a longer range of travel compared to the extreme low but it's very minimal but i went ahead and did it since i don't really lower my car too low for me to really care for extreme lows you can see from the springs they these guys are definitely a lot thicker so springs are supposed to be lighter and does not uh, have like suspension sag over time this will tend to droop and this should be able to maintain its shape. It also has a lot softer ride quality, even though it's the same spring rate as this, it'll, it'll feel smoother. So with the lower quality springs, as the spring compresses, the spring rate actually changes. But with this, the Swiss springs, this can actually have a more consistent feel. So that's why. I believe Swiss springs are definitely worth it, uh, but I'll find out once I have this installed. When you start drifting, tracking, you'll actually want more uh, stiffer springs. So this is the main reason why I upgraded uh, to the 2016 spring rates. Usually the manufacturers have the preload already set and the ride height set, but they did not take into account that my car does have uh, roll center adjusters installed already, which are 30 millimeters. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this so you guys can see how to adjust ride height. And since uh, this has a separate preload, uh, we won't be touching the preload. With this, for, with every five turns, you get about 10 millimeters. I put a mark right here just so I know how many rotations I've done uh, and my this thing. Go ahead and walk this. Oh, there you go. Also, the, as usual, the dampening knobs are not assembled. So all you do is you just put it in here and then tighten the bottom part of the knob and it you're good to go. Time to install this bad boys. Here are the tools that I will be using. Oh it has the face tracker. Yeah.
is a 17. I'll remove it. And leave the nut on. I'm gonna use this ball joint remover. So in case it pops, it doesn't just explode in you. Sway bar and links. These are 13s. Okay. And make this out of the way. Alright, take this AVS line out, or just the AVS bracket off. Alright, now it's time to remove this ball right here which is 17 but the nut on the other side is a 19. Go ahead and hold the one side with the 19. Get this. We should be able to get the dirt out. Yep. And the coil over should come out too. Alright, the old one's out. Now time to put the new one in. As always, with bushings, we gotta make sure we preload the suspension before we tighten it all the way. So, we're gonna go ahead and raise this. And go ahead and tighten the top. All right, so we're gonna torque this one down to 116 foot-pounds. I'm gonna torque this to 41 foot-pounds. Tying this to 64 foot pounds. Okay. 
go ahead and lock the cotter pin. See the bolt there. Oops. And put the ABS bracket behind it. And bolt it down. Now, just gonna install the sway bar. Put that lined up. So for the rear, we're going to be removing this sway bar end link, this lower shock bolt, and just the three nuts up top. And this is a 12, this is a 19, the other side is a 19 also. Remove the three 14 mil nuts. Okay. Out with the old. I am jacking up the lower control arm so the suspension would go up and I can access the threads on the top to tie up the 14 mil bolts. Now torque them down to 41 foot pounds. Use the jack to help align the bolt holes and now we're going to tie in the soy bar and links to 41 foot pounds and the lower suspension to 81 foot pounds.
So I have driven the car for almost probably a thousand miles. Uh, I've taken it to a track event already that's like a three hour drive and then I've taken it to a drag event that's like a three hour drive. So far I think the suspension is so much better than the BR series. It has the stiffer springs and upgraded to Swiss springs. You know initially I was really scared to run stiff springs. It is my daily and I was always thinking that it's gonna be a super rough bumpy ride and it actually is not bad. Like I really prefer this over the BR series. With the stiffer spring rates I do not bottom out at all anymore. Before I, I did bottom out a lot. Uh, definitely not a good feeling. On the day-to-day -day driving it drives pretty smooth even though like I said it's up double the spring rates it's not bad at all I don't know if it's because of the Swiss springs because they did say Swiss springs even though it's a higher spring rate it does ride smoother than what it is or it's the DS itself with the digressive pistons uh, either one of those just could be the combination of both <clears throat> when I took it at the track it did get my cats so I don't know how much horsepower I gained from that, but I really think it's the suspension. It definitely gave me a really good feeling on how the car is uh, driving at the track, gave me more confidence when I take the turn. Before I was always scared of losing it, um, but this time it really felt like I was in control. Um, as you can see right now in the back, I'm trying to get the car prepped for drift. Uh, there's a drift event coming up and I'm definitely going to see how the, the feeling will be once I go drifting. Uh, I'm sure it's going to get, it's going to drift so much easier with the stiffer spring rates. The suspension is definitely worth the upgrade. I highly recommend it. It's, since it is just a single adjustment, so you don't need to be too versed on uh, adjust or uh, tuning your suspension that is one of the main reasons why i chose the ds series compared to the er because you'd have to know how to tune your compression and rebound individually and i'm not experienced <laughs> enough to tune my suspension yet uh, with time hopefully i will be able to with that said uh I hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe and see you next time.